Hello, fellow blockchainers. My name is Jorge Perutu, and I'm going to take you on a journey of how to deploy your first blockchain network on the IBM starter plan. So this video will be based pretty heavily on this my blog. So basically what I'm going to show you is how to deploy a blockchain app. In my video, you'll see how to deploy an auction app. Of course, you don't have to use my business network archive. You can use your own and then you'll be able to deploy it on the blockchain plan. So let me just show you exactly what you'll get if you finish this tutorial. So right now we have this web UI written here. Um, you can see on my local machine. Um, we have two views, the seller and the buyer. So right now I've just added a new product onto the auction and I'm going to start bidding. And the way that we're going to update this auction is through the Compose REST server. So as you can see here, we have the Compose REST server. These are all the uh, different um, tran uh, transactions and different uh, members and participants that we have made through our model file. So now we're going to start bidding and you'll see here, it'll update this UI. There we go. So we're going to add our shoes on the auction here. So um, another thing that you get with this tutorial is once you do uh, connect this UI to the blockchain and you deploy it, you'll be able to have a blockchain service on the cloud and you'll be able to check these logs through the channel. So in the last request that I made, I added some shoes on the, um, on the auction. So you'll see 29 seconds ago, I invoked this chain code to add shoes. So we should be able to see the details here. Okay, so you can see start bidding. Perfect. Um, let's find shoes. There it is. So you can see kind of what do we put on the auction? We put Timberland, sho Timberland shoes. And that is what you'll get. So as long as you have this IBM blockchain starter plan running, you'll have all these logs. Immutable. Immutability. So that is the end goal of our tutorial and I'll show you step by step what you need to do to get this Composer REST server running and to be able to invoke these APIs to be able to uh, uh, to work with this blockchain network. So if you are interested, keep on watching. If not, thanks for watching up to this point. Um, so first, um, we do need to make sure we have an IBM Cloud account. We need to make sure that we have an NPM and node installed and um, we need the right versions of these, which I will lay out in the video description. Um, the first thing we have to do is to check our composer version. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, really quick, I'm gonna remove this composer-v. So we'll see that I have the correct composer version installed. If I didn't, I would simply run npm uninstall and then npm install. So now that we have the right conf uh, composer version, um, we're just going to get clone this directory, which I had just deleted. And then after that, we're just going to create this composer file. We'll go into this uh, blockchain events directory um, and then go to the composer and then run it all. So this npm install is actually um, using a command to create a DNA file. And if we look into our directory, so we're going to be in this directory, we're going to in here, and then if we look into JSON, you'll see that this command, and the prepublish, um, will create this events.bna file. So basically what it's doing is it's taking this logic file, um, this, is the, um, this is the logic for the transactions, it's taking this model file, um, taking the products, um, so the app that we're going to do is an auction, um, and um, <clears throat> so it's taking all these products, or this model file, and then also this access control rules. It's taking all of these rules, and it's creating this events.bna file, which we see here. Okay, cool. Now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and create our blockchain service. So we'll go into the IBM Cloud. I'm not gonna show you how to create an IBM Cloud account. I have a separate tutorial video for that, which I'll give in the links below. So once you're logged in, like I am now, um, we're gonna go to create resource, and then we're gonna click blockchain. And um, this is really important right now to note, 
is that you need to select US South here. This is really important. And then after you're in the US South, you can click the starter plan. You'll see that if I wasn't in US South, if I go to Sydney, I there is no starter plan. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to US South, starter plan, and then click create. Also, at this point, um, depending on your membership, you might have to do a pay as you go and click your or enter in your credit credit card info. So you should be able to have a 30 month or a month long free trial with the starter membership. So you should not get billed or anything and just enter in the credit card info and then you can either cancel or continue using that membership. But just know that for those first 30 days, you can test and deploy your app for free. So now that you have created your blockchain service, we'll hit launch. And what we need to do first is we have to go to our connection profile. We got to download it and then, and then go to downloads, connection profile, rename it. And then we'll put this into our, our directory where we were working before. So for me, this was blockchain and then it was this composite journey. Perfect. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and actually view this. Um, let's view this connection profile. So we actually need to get the admin secret, which is all the way at the bottom. So if you see this registrar here, you see this admin and role ID, and then you need this secret. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And then we will put that here. What we need is right here. Perfect. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is creating a card and we're, oopsie. So let's go back and try that again. So you need to be in that same directory as your connection profile, which now I am. So now we're creating this card and this has given us admin rights to the network. And then we're just gonna import this card. And then we're gonna request um, some credentials from the identity, uh, from the certificate authority. So now that um, we have cr uh, successfully created these credentials, um, we'll see here that we have this credentials directory. We're gonna go into this credentials directory. You're gonna copy the entire contents of adminpub.pem. I've already done this. I don't wanna click on this because I'll show you my credentials, but you just click on this, copy the entire contents of the file, and then we're gonna go into our blockchain platform and then we're going to go to our members tab and then certificates. And then we're gonna add certificate here. And then we'll just do tutorial. We'll add it. And then we will restart the peers. So this is gonna take 30 seconds here. Okay, so now you should see in about 30 seconds that all the peers are restarted successfully. Then we go to our channel and then we just go and then sync certificate and submit. So in a couple seconds, this should be done. We're gonna be done syncing all our certificates. And next, so the next thing we have to do is to create this admin card and we have to give ourselves the role of channel admin and peer admin. And the way that we do this is um, when we use that secret in the first step from the blockchain platform, uh, that is actually gonna give us access and we're, that's those credentials that were created from that secret is what we're going to be we're using here to create this admin card. Okay. Right. Next, we will do this. Import this card, okay, and then we're going to copy this um, uh, BNA into our current directory. Let's make sure it's here. Yes, it is. This events.bna file is here is what we need. And then we're going to install the runtime on the peers. This is a very important step. Awesome. So now that it is installed, we can go ahead and start the network. So this is pretty much the last step to successfully deploying our uh, BNA and there sometimes are errors with this step 
And if there are errors, I recommend that you just wait a little bit and then try again. Okay, so I got the request timeout error. Let's try again. All right, so we've created this card. And next thing we got to do is just delete this uh, card. Oopsie. All right. Okay, so after that is done, um, we are going to create a new card here. So we have this admin events card, and this is what we're going to use later on to start our Composer REST server. We're going to import this card, and there we go, we have it imported. And that's pretty much uh, it for deploying it. Now let's go ahead and install this Composer REST server. I believe I already have it running. Um, so we're going to actually just go ahead and use this command. And we're using this card that we created in the previous command. So we're going to start our Composer REST server, use our card, and then pass a couple different parameters in. And now we should go ahead and be able to see our Composer REST server. Cool. And now we're going to add a few different members. So basically, um, all of these uh, different functions in the Composer REST server are based on our model file. So if we go back into our Composer and our models, you can see here we have a product, product listing, seller, member. Um, we have start bidding, close bidding. Everything that we have here, start bidding, close bidding, that's all in the model file. So this is where that, that's coming from. So the first thing we want to do is add a couple members and um, we'll start up our web UI. So if we start up our web UI here, this is from my previous app, but now it should be empty. So all we have to do is to um, open up a new terminal. Um, basically, we'll go into a web and then just fire up the node, the node server. Oopsie, uh, npm install and then fire up the node server. And now, cool, yeah, you should be good here. So let's go ahead and add a few um, different members. So we'll start off with a seller. So we'll do a post for seller. And we will use this JSON. Okay, and then next, after we do that, we will create a we'll create a product. Okay. Then after we create this product, we'll go into we'll go into the products and then we want to get this product ID. So we'll copy that. And then we're gonna we're gonna use that for the start bidding function. So we'll go ahead and use that, and then here, um, oopsie, there we go. So we'll use that product ID to start bidding on the specific product. And once I hit this try, I don't know why. So once I hit this try it out, it should update my UI. So Right now, my UI is blank, but it should be updated. So it should come up right here. Perfect. Awesome. So by this point, you have successfully done everything that you need to do in the tutorial. So by this point, you have invoked the um, chain code. So we can see here, about 17 seconds ago, we invoked the chain code, and we added a new product to the uh, auction. So we can see here exactly what product. Um, so I think we called it sample product, sample product. So we can see here, this is the, the description sample product. It's for sale, we amount 50. So this is everything that you have now. You have successfully linked this web UI um, to this, uh, to your Composer REST server, to the blockchain starter plan in the cloud. So now um, this is all you really need to to, to do to deploy your network. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, please click that like button and any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible.